Okay, so let's start creating the form, which is going to be a fairly simple form. I'm going to name this one FRM Editor. And the text can simply say Text Editor. And let's open it in the center of the screen. So next, we will need a text box into which we will type. So that's going to be our editor itself. So I'll drop a text box here. I'll name it TXT Editor. And of course, since this is an editor, we want the multiline to be true. Let's make it bigger. And up here, we have scroll bars. And what we want is vertical scroll bars. So when we have a lot of text, we can scroll through it. So next thing we need is the menu item. So we need the menu strip. So here we have menu strip. I'm going to drop it on the form. And it drops it down here in our project. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to name it. MNU for menu main. So this is going to be a main navigation. So over here you can see we have the menu itself and we can start typing what we need. So first one we need file. And we know that usually you have the letter in the menu underlined so you can use a keyboard to access it instead of a mouse. So to do that we'll use the add symbol in front of F so this will underline F. So now when I click File, I can start adding submenus. In the first one, we want to allow the user to open a new file. So again, I want the N underlined, so it's going to be the end symbol and new. And the second one is for the exit. So it's going to be E and then end symbol, so the X is underlined. And the second item we want after file is formatting. So this will be a formatting for the text. So F is going to be regular, then end symbol and format. So O will be underlined. And here when I click format, I want some options for the fonts. I want the options to be bold, italics, underline. And then we will have another option for size, which will have its own submenu. So I'm going to double click and start adding them. So first is bold. The next one is italic. Then we have underline, and then we'll have size. Now I'm going to select size, and you can see I can start adding submenu here. So the size I want is small, medium, and large. So the first one is going to be small. So again, I'll use the end symbol in front of S. The next one is medium, and then we have large. And we can set a default for our size for the font. Let's say we want small to be our default. So I'll select small. And here in the properties, we have the check state. And I'll change the unchecked to checked. And you can see now it's checked when I select it. Because that is now our default. So this is a little navigation that we have here. Nothing fancy. We will be actually using this application a little later as well to add functionality to it. Alright, so our simple navigation is ready. I just need to name things. So I'll select file and over here in the name, I'm going to name it MNU file. Then I'll select new and it's going to be MNU new file. And exit is going to be named MNU exit. Now I'll click format and this one can be MNU format. Then we have bold. So it's going to be MNU bold format. Then MNU italic format. MNU underline format. And then we have the size. So it's going to be MNU size format. Now let's go to the sizes. So I'll select small. And let's name this one MNU format small size. 
medium will be of course MNU format medium size and finally we have MNU format large size all right so I think this is enough for our form this is a good start for our text editor simple navigation where we can select new file and simple formatting options for our text so next let's start coding the functionality